my friends. I am in serious need of some trail therapy today. This is downtown Bentonville, Arkansas, the Slaughter Pen Trails, one of the best little trail systems in America. If you can't have fun out here, there's something wrong with you. And man, I'm feeling like there's something wrong with me right now. Oh. I am currently having a heck of a time with the jumps, as always. I'm always terrible with them. But I went over to Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve a couple days ago. One of the most fun trail centers of all time on the other side of town. And I just did terrible. Every single jump was awful. So I gotta build my confidence back up. This stuff, no problem. One of the best little sections of the trail is currently torn up and getting put back together eventually. But for now, we have to take this big detour. Okay, this is where everything comes back into place. Boo boo. It's gonna take a few runs. I'd say my best jumping rating is probably a three out of 10. That's probably as far as I ever got with my jumps. And right now it feels like a one out of 10. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Whew. There we go. Oh wow, this is new too. Very cool. Okay, let's do it again. Probably need to pedal harder. Yeah. That first one's tough. Second one, possible. Go. Ooh, yeah. Uh oh. I smashed my rear wheel back there. Whoa. Oh, physical. But better. Choo choo. Oh, the best big old berms. So physical. Oh, 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 oh. wow. I almost crashed on that. I'm not ready. <laughs> I gotta get warmed up. I don't know what the heck line I was taking. Ooh. Okay. Always makes it better when there's a crowd of people watching. You almost crash as well. <laughs> Do we need to call the doctor? I know my jump skills might be around a two out of 10 right now, but I'll tell you about something that's sitting or standing at a 10 out of 10 right now. The fine sponsor of today's video, FlexiSpot. My FlexiSpot E7 Pro Plus standing desk has been the beautiful, functional centerpiece of my working life since I transformed my shed last year. I had been editing my videos on my kitchen counter for years and years until finally I could not take it anymore. I put all this time and effort and energy into overhauling the shed and turning it into my own little home office where I could shut the door and focus. It's time to get rid of that piece of junk desk. You're always uncomfortable with the T-Rex arms. Upgrade to the E7 Pro Plus standing desk. You can put that thing anywhere you want it. How do you feel about your FlexiSpot desk? Oh, I love it. I was just standing up a second ago. Now I'm sitting down. Now I'm drinking a latte. 
Sarah went with the same E7 Pro Plus desk that I had, but she did the white frame with the dark bamboo top, and she also added the monitor arm, a small drawer, and of course, a sweet little foot hammock. Whether you're six foot four or four foot two, you can adjust this standing desk high, low, and anywhere in between. This desk is heavy duty. It can support 355 pounds for whatever reason you might have that much on your desk. And it's still stable. Even when it's fully extended, you don't want your desk all wobbling around. I am in a constant battle with the mess above my desk and below, but with the cable management tray add-on, it makes it so nice and easy to just jam as many cables and cords into that thing as you can, snap it on, and everything looks nice and clean. How do you feel about <laughs> your flexi spot desk? Love it. I do a bit more sitting than standing with my desk, and the Pro OC14 ergonomic chair has been the best chair I've ever had. I've always cheaped out on chairs. They've always been pieces of junk. This is like finally my time to get some nice stuff. I have had so many bad desks and chairs over the years. Don't suffer like I did. Click the link in the description. It's time for an upgrade. Head over to FlexiSpot. Check out the E7 Pro Plus standing desk and all the different upgrades that you can add to it. The OC14 Pro Chair, so good. FlexiSpot also does free shipping, risk-free returns for 30 days, and they have a 15-year warranty. And thank you for supporting the sponsors that support this channel. Okay, let's do this again. I'm pretty sure the first time I rode this, six and a half years ago, it was dirt all the way around and I think they realized pretty quickly that that is unsustainable for this magical design. You'd have to have a full-time person repairing it to keep this thing running. So I like the pavement. Keeps the spirit of Boo Boo intact. Or no, Choo Choo. <laughs> Whatever your name is. That's like my mom and dad <laughs> when they'd call us by the wrong name. Whatever your name is. Okay, I could get stuck riding out here all day. Gotta move on. There we go. Yeah, pedal. Yes. Oh, not quite. A little softer that time. <laughs> Gotta stand up to the jump. Like the Lone Ranger says, I think so much of my problems are from just fighting off the jumps, squatting. That natural defense mechanism. This area will be really nice when it's finished because Previously, it was an awesome trail, but it was just such a hazard. People would stand around in the middle of the street. There's cars. It was just a very much a, thank you, free for all that was ugly, an accident waiting to happen. Speaking of ugly, I think that best describes my new SRAM transmission. Oh man, I had such high hopes. 1500 bucks for the promise of set it and forget it shifting no derailleur hanger oh my shifting was getting all screwed up in israel on the old wireless shifting and i was just like man if i could pay that money one time and my shifting is just going to be good for years and years i'll do it I'll, I'll, I'll bite the bullet well i bought the bullet and uh now it hurts haven't really been able to get the shifting dialed in at all. I'm doing the micro adjustments. I'm following the orders of operation. I get it, I get the idea, but I just can't get it to work. I mean, it's working like right now, but it's pretty much the same cog from the old shifting. It's shifting just as bad on the new shifting, which is funny, it's totally different. It's all new stuff. There shouldn't be any relation. Took it to the bike shop. And of course, no one's actually seen it yet. It's too new. So they were of no help. Whoa. And the brutal thing is when you're traveling, you take it off 
and then you need a bike stand to set it back up again. I had Sarah, my wife, holding my bike, acting as the bike stand. Completely, utterly, horrifically frustrating. There's not too many places I travel where I actually have access to a bike stand. So I'm not looking forward to traveling with the SRAM transmission. The regular access wireless stuff, take the derailleur off, pop it back on, you're good to go. Whatever problems you had <laughs> will stay there. Man, I was the most excited I've ever been for a bike product. The durability, the no dropping a chain, just all the selling points got me hook, line, and sinker. And uh, I'm totally regretting it. If you've got a bike mechanic who can <laughs> get that thing dialed, I think it's good. But man, for me and traveling, I'm scared now. It's just going to be a whole rigmarole every time. We're going to the castle. When I was here last year, this was not quite finished. Oh man, so cool. Let's get a lap on catapult going. Whoa. Got Jared from Cure Cycling up ahead and his buddy Juan. Just happened to meet them out on the trail. Oh, wow, those berms are awesome. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Hyper speed. Oh, yes. <laughs> These things are polished up. Oh, a little bit better. The more I can stand up, the better it gets. Dragon scales time. Oops, I almost missed it. <laughs> right off the bat. Oh, -ho. these loose rocks. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I hope I have enough air in my rear tire. Clunk, yeah. That is cool. Whoa. <laughs> That's oh man, a lot like Ponca, the BOC. Woo! That's cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Lone wolf. Supposedly no berms on this thing. Just scratched in. Ooh. Wow, that's really good. Whoa, I tapped the tree. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was over quick. Really good though. Okay, I've done them all up here and I think Dragon Scales is my favorite. Let's do it again. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I overshot it. <laughs> the dragon's trying to get me. Boom! 
<laughs> oh, I love those types of hits. Hard rock ledges. Whoa! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I went a little too fast. Oh, that was cool. There we go. And now hard brakes. Okay, I need a little more practice on these bad boys. Oh God. <laughs> oh. feel so much more comfortable taking on that last one head on. Now, I've always neglected this side of All-American, but I just saw something above that made it look like it was really cool. Fast and flowy. Oh, maybe not. Okay, something maybe a little further above then. Looks like it's all burned out up there. Wow, this is new to me. This whole thing looks super fast and cool. Okay, we found a new one. Let's see what it's made of. Ho 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 Yeah. Whoa. Oh man, pretty cool. So fast, over too fast. That mega speed. Whew. Back to the Apple Creek area and I'm gonna go find Leopard's Loop. Huh, I don't know if I've done this. Love it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <sighs> cool. Oh, it's a little wet. Ever slippage. This away. Into the wine cellar. It is very easy to get 20 miles out of this exploring and adventuring and trying all the little side shoots. Let's see where the jumping skills have got to. <laughs> Probably a two out of 10 now, hopefully. Whew. That was nice. The mulch man has been by. Hello. Hey, hey. Oh. There we go. Clear that first one. 
that one not so much. <laughs> That is so good. BK! Hey, hey. The mulch man. <laughs> How's it going? All right, let me get back to work. Enjoy. See you later. Thanks for saying hi. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice. Built for the baby jumps. Ah! <laughs> This building, it's called the Ledger. It's been under construction ever since I started coming to Bentonville. And the big draw of it was that you could ride your bike around the outside. So if you worked on the top floor, you could ride your bike up to the top floor. And it's so cool, finally, to get to ride it. Lots of big old Primo office space, just ready for a big mountain bike company with a capital S to move in at any time. Oh, this is neat. It's a much bigger workout than I thought it would be. Bentonville is always a great place to go for a little bit of trail therapy. I got myself back in action, kinda sorta. I, I've been saying it for years at this point, but I need to block off like two weeks of practice, just going after the jumps over and over and over. Bentonville's a great place to do it. Here in Northern California, we really don't have those kind of jumps, that kind of style where you could go out and practice over and over and over. Uh, I'll do it eventually, someday, as we say. Arkansas keeps moving forward and keeps building more trails, but holy moly, the real estate prices in Bentonville, unreal. It's so funny how you can find very reasonably priced Airbnbs to stay at for like 120 bucks a night in downtown Bentonville, where those same houses are all million dollar houses, $1,000 a square feet without an ocean view, without California weather, Absolutely crazy. I posted on my Instagram making fun of the Bentonville house prices and everybody messaged me like, oh, you moving to Bentonville? Oh, <laughs> not at that price. This trip was pretty quick, but I did get a couple more rides in from the greater region, not just Arkansas. I dipped into Missouri a little bit. Already on the Patreon, head on over, support the channel, get the videos early and extended. It helps so much, but until then, do me a favor go write something new, and maybe I'll see you on the trail.